In one week, we have seen Bear County's COVID-19 positivity rate go from a little more than 5% to more than 11%. And joining us in our KSAT Q&A today, San Antonio Mayor Ron Nuremberg. Mr. Mayor, uh, I appreciate the time. As always, talk about the positivity rate, what you're seeing, and how concerned you are. Sure. Well, I think it's important that we distinguish what is happening now with the infection rates and cases of COVID-19 from what we saw in the summer last year, as well as the fall. Uh, this is not a surge the way we were seeing it before. 99.9% .9 of the cases that we're seeing nationwide and here locally are from unvaccinated individuals. Uh, people who are vaccinated with both doses or in the case of the Johnson & Johnson, the single dose vaccine, are immune uh, largely and have the resistance uh, that would help to fend off any major infection, any major illness, including that of the Delta, virus, Delta variant. So we are seeing uh, some rise in the numbers, uh, a minor rise in the hospital hospitalization numbers. We're seeing some increases in the positivity rate, but let me put this in context for you. The entire state of Texas has seen similar numbers. We're about 11.5% positivity rate uh, in the entire state of Texas, and that includes here in San Antonio. As a matter of reference, when the last time we had an 11% positivity rate was back in January, where we had 6,000 cases per week. The 11% represents just about 900 cases this week, and then that means that testing is way, way down. People are who are getting tested are largely uh, they, they think they have it and they have severe symptoms in some cases, but largely are the unvaccinated. So the bottom line is um, we need to put this in proper context. We need to continue to do our part. COVID-19 is still here. And the best thing we can do to end this is get vaccinated. Is this frustrating for you at all? Because this is not like this wasn't predicted. I mean, if it was basically predicted, if you don't get the vaccine, you're not going to be able to fend off the variants of COVID-19 that are coming. It, it is a little frustrating, and that is because we do have people in our community who can't get vaccinated, and particularly young people who are not eligible. So if you're eligible for the vaccine, and there's plenty to go around, it's free, it doesn't require insurance, it doesn't require an appointment. If you are eligible to get the vaccine, Go get it. It not only protects you, keeps you out of the hospital, but it also protects you from becoming a, a vector that could transmit it to someone who is ineligible, a young person, a person who is, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, unable to get the vaccine. So we want to make sure that everybody has access to it. Uh, and, and is able to get it. And that is the case here in San Antonio. We're, we're going out of our way with partners in the community. The Spurs uh, have hosted a couple of events, uh, including one this coming weekend at Toyota Field, where you can go see San Antonio FC for free if you get vaccinated. You'll also be entered in a chance to win a 10-game package to see the Spurs. So we're doing everything we can to protect each other from this virus. And that means at this phase of the game, get vaccinated. We're doing a great job overall. Uh, again, we exceeded the federal uh, goal of 70 percent uh, vaccination rate, but we still can do more and get those vaccines out to folks uh, who haven't gotten them yet. And that will protect the young people in our community. And we need to do that if we want to get schools back open and, and healthy and, and full speed in the fall. Yeah, it's not too late to get a vaccine. All right, Absolutely uh, not. You signed a letter with some other governors uh, about infrastructure and some of the other things that you think are important out there. Talk a little bit about why you signed on and what you hope is accomplished. I mean, this is something that was sent to the White House, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. Um, myself and, and all the mayors of the major cities in Texas wrote a letter to President Biden uh, this week that urged the passage uh, and the congressional passage of the American Jobs Plan as, excuse me, not the, the infrastructure plan that's before uh, Congress right now. And that would, that would be an infusion of investment into infrastructure that's been in disrepair for a long, long time, thereby helping improve our communities at the local level, but also create jobs and get people back to work. Uh, have economic activity in, in, a, in a safe and productive way for our entire country. Um, we think it's a very important step for our recovery um, and, and to get our economy back uh, and booming again in an equitable manner that allows for our communities to be improved. So we sent that letter this week, uh, and we are urging the passage of the infrastructure plan uh, that's been laid out by President Biden. What would this infrastructure plan mean for San Antonio? 
Well, uh, the rules have not been uh, completed yet, but likely what that would mean is that there are grants that we normally go through for federal infrastructure, whether it's transportation, parks improvements, uh, health infrastructure, uh, and we would work with our local partners uh, to make those proposals and help to have federal matches so that we can get those projects started immediately. A lot of people are, are really impressed with the improvements that happen along the San Pedro Creek and the improvements of the San Antonio River Corridor. A lot of those projects were done in partnership with the federal government through grants done through the parks um, programs as well as our transportation Department of Transportation. So uh, major infrastructure projects from here to, you know, from both sides of the United States um, are done in partnership with several different uh, layers of government working together uh, in partnership. And, and that's what we're asking to be done at a historic level which is the proposal that's been laid out before Congress. One iteration of this infrastructure bill that I saw uh, proposed uh, rail lines between the major Texas cities. Is that still part of the plan or was that cut as part of negotiations? It's still underway and, and rail is part of the transportation proposals that are in, are the infra, are in the infrastructure plan, multimodal transportation. So uh, some of those proposals that you might see uh, are interstate or excuse me, intercity uh, rail transit between cities like Dallas and Houston and, and Austin and, and San Antonio and uh, basically connecting the Texas Triangle. But a lot of those proposals won't come forward until this plan has been passed. Uh, there's other modes of transportation, uh, including highways and, and our roadways, bicycle infrastructure, our parks, linear creekway programs that would be eligible as well. Uh, including our public transportation system. So we all stand to benefit. Every American stands to benefit from the passage of this bill that would help to create jobs as well as improve the nation's infrastructure that has been in disrepair for a generation. San Antonio Mayor Rod Nuremberg, always appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us. Great to be with you, Steve. Kind of being my co-anchor. We'll be right back. <laughs>